Hey there guys, this is Len Oliver and I just thought I would show you a couple more tools from Magic School II. One of the ones that I found out there not too long ago was this one right here. The YouTube Video Question Generator. Now, the cool thing about this is how many times have you had to watch a video for YouTube? And then come up with a bunch of questions in order to keep uh, get kids motivated to watch it and also to keep them on task. Well, this helps to do that. I'm going to just quickly show you as going through how to do one. Here is a video that I have on the Appalachian region. Now, I'm going to go to share and I'm going to copy this address. Okay, I'm going to copy that address. Then I'm going to come on to this. And I am going to put that in right here. Now I'm going to watch and see if it has a transcript loaded successfully. Not all videos on YouTube have trans transcripts. So if it says transcript loaded successfully, you can use this to help you. I'm choosing fifth grade and I want to have about five questions on here just to see if the kids are actually watching this. I'm going to make them multiple choice, but you also have free response or even true and false and we click generate now on the opposite side here you're going to get five questions that the ai gets from reading this transcript okay also down on the bottom they have an answer key now this answer key also talks about the timestamps, so you can go in and play that this can very quickly then be copied with the control c control d and either put into a google forms or print it up on a sheet afterwards so this is the YouTube generator. Uh, I know I'm going to be using it over the next little while. Um, let me know what you think. The second one in this group that I want to talk to you about is Rubric Maker. I can remember spending weeks doing rubrics with uh, different groups. And the speed that you can do a rubric with this AI is just amazing. Let's just take a quick look over here at Magic AI's Rubric Generator. So here is the basics for it. It asks you what grade level and your objective. So you can go in and choose your objective from Alberta Learning. So here's the objective I'm using is express ideas through multiple paragraph works. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy this objective out of the new curriculum. Once I do, I'm going to place that into here, and I'm going to call this um, informational writing rubric. Informational writing rubric. Now, I'm going to have to feed some information to this. So this is my planning page that I have for kids, and this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this information to help me to be able to get the kids to write. So I'm going to copy here. I'm going to go back to my AI. And I'm going to write down everything that I want to be looking for with this rubric. Okay? Everything I want to be looking for. I'm also going to add to this that I would like to also have. Take it back to. Don't need it. But I would also like to have grammar and I want to have a sentence structure and vocabulary okay so I'm adding these things to it here, I can choose what kind of scale. And the scale we use usually is a five because it goes with our report cards. Any, addition, any additional things that I want in here, I can add to it. Now, as I said before, it took us sometimes weeks as group to make one of these. Now when I click generate, just take a look at how quickly, and this is in real time. I am not speeding things up. So if you take a look here, things are placed into it. And the cool thing about it is that they are using 
qualitative quantitative language onto here. Okay, so when I say that, a number five grabs the reader's attention and relates to the topic. May not be directly related to the topic. Uh, grabs the attention but is not engaging or relevant. Hook lacks creativity and hook, no hook sentence provided at all. And each one of them are like that. Okay. Plus it has a copy button here. So all you have to do is take that, copy it, and then bring it to a document. I'm just going to add it to the bottom of this one. Oops. And insert a break. So all I'm going to do is control V here. And I end up having this right here that I'm able to go through and make into our rubric. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of work providing how to address the cell size and stuff. But when you consider the amount of time it normally takes to be able to do this sort of stuff, it's a small price to pay. And that's number two in this Magic School AI. Hey there, this is the last one for today, but I am going to do a second part on this with some more of these AI items. What I want to show you on this one is the Diagnostic Assessment Generator. Now, with this one here, it allows you to generate a bunch of little questions in order to see, roughly, using some of the evaluation, to see where students are. Now, just as an example, I have opened a new math curriculum, and I want to see how well these students know this information. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my AI. And this is what I want them to address. These are the outcomes that I want them to address. OK, so I'm going to ask them to do about maybe 15 questions. And I'm going to click Generate. So now the AI is going through creating a small little test that has multiple choice that the students are going to be able to go at and will give us an assessment, give us, will give us the tools for an assessment that the kids will be able to do. One of the big pluses is it also gives you the answer keys to go with this, saving you a lot of time and time is important. See you next week on ETC.